have arrived in Porto. Welcome to my second video of the series. And if you want to watch the first one, which is just me and Lisbon, click up. I think I'll put like a link somewhere. Right now we're in Porto. We took the train from Lisbon Orient to Porto Campania. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Please forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Now when we did check into here, the host was like, oh, you should have taken a bus, like three hours, it's like eight euros. And we were like, great. Well, we already booked a return ticket back to Lisbon, so. But yeah, we're deciding what to do. He was really friendly though. He gave us loads of suggestions on what to do and what to see. So we are thinking of going to the beach because we did bring swimwear. However, in Lisbon, you couldn't really swim or the beach wasn't as near as it is in Porto. And then we are going to have lunch there, I think, and then come back. And where we're staying, there's like a market near. So we're gonna go to the market, maybe for like a snack or dinner. And then there's also, luckily, there's a festival here this weekend. So we're gonna check out the festival later tonight, if we're both not dead. It is 10.18 and we're heading to the food market now and we are absolutely starving because everything here opens really late. Good morning. Welcome to our second day in Porto. We spent the morning at the beach. We did have a little bit of a lion. Got up around like nine slash ten because we got back in like round two last night. The water was a lot colder than we expected, but still like it was really nice. And I'm a little bit covered up now because the sun cream has rubbed off and I'm afraid that I'm gonna get burnt. I think I may have a little bit. Yeah, Paris forgot the sun cream and she forgot her water this morning. We also took a bolt here actually as well because yesterday we took the bus to go to the beach, but it took so long. We already had a line and we didn't really want to wait. And now we're deciding where to eat. We don't know whether to eat here or I'm kind of obsessed over the Food pasta yeah. that we we ate at yesterday it was such good pasta yeah. and i'm feeling like something like carby but right now we're gonna check out a market real quick oh Alice, it's right there oh, okay so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna check out a market real quick and then there's a library that paris wants to go to that looks like really amazing or is it a library or bookshop it's, it's library lello apparently quite famous because of it's like wooden carvings inside yeah really yeah but we're gonna head to a market now I didn't film much when we were in the bookshop. It was really busy, but they had a range of books. They were in English. The price of the ticket, we've just paid the normal silver standard ticket, which was eight euros. It was deducted off the price of the book if you bought a book, but the books were all like, even the small ones, they ranged between 15 from what I saw like to like 35. 
which it was a cookbook that I saw. But again, eight euros is deducted. Now we're gonna head to the gardens of the Crystal Palace. And that's kind of on our way back to the accommodation. It's nearly 8 a.m. and the reason why we're up so early is that we've got a wine tour along the Jura Valley. We are quite tired. We intended to go to sleep last night at like 10 maybe, but we ended up going to sleep at 12. Oh, it was closer to 1 actually. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh my gosh, we are here and we didn't get time for breakfast, which honestly we that didn't was... plan this very well because we're also like <laughs> rushing. But yes, that will screw us over later, I reckon. final day of Porto and the day we check out. The wine tour was really fun. One day I would love to like take a car there and just like go there and just like drive and like go at my own pace. Maybe do some more like port tastings. Maybe then I would have like a taste for port but right now I don't. But yeah it was a really eventful day. This morning however we will be leaving Porto which is really sad. Paris and I have both come to the conclusion that we prefer Porto to Lisbon so far. We find Porto more relaxed. Yeah our train is at like 12.37 right now. It is nearly 10 o'clock. We still have some time. We're probably just gonna slowly pack and relax and then check out at 11 and then slowly head to the train station. back in Lisbon and we're taking a day trip to Cascades. I feel like we have kind of seen Lisbon a little bit. We've been to Sintra, lovely, and then Cascades was another like seaside town that everyone like recommended us to go to. We weren't like prepped to go to the beach though. That was never really. It wasn't supposed to be as warm as it is now though. That is true. It also, was. Uh, it was 22 degrees and cloudy when we got here. That is true. Also, we woke up quite late, and when we did go to the beach earlier, it was very busy, so it wasn't really in our cards. Also, I feel like because the weather is like so warm in Portugal, you don't realize this, but like the sea is actually very cold. You know, like it's kind of grouped in with like the Mediterranean countries, like in terms of like sea and everything. It's really not. 
It's like, what is it? It's, like it's the all Atlanta. Yeah, it's cold. going out today as well so I'm busy packing and I have all my plastic bags with me with all my different things inside um, and I'm just gonna fit them all in this bag I bought some postcards yesterday and the amount of times we walked up and down that street is insane I bought this one on one stop and I bought the exact same on another because I really like them so I bought another one for my sister so yeah one's gonna be mine and one's gonna be hers I'm gonna put that in my pink my postcard bag with all my other postcards in. Today, <clears throat> the plan is we want to check out LX Factory. We also want to go out to like the Time Out Market in Lisbon. So that's going to be fun. Our flight is in the evening. So it's at like around six and it doesn't take very long to get to the airport. We're going to try to ask the host if we can like maybe leave our stuff here during the day and then just come back just before going to the airport and take it with us. Right now, we're going to go downstairs to eat some pastries and to have some coffee and breakfast. Oh, and another thing, we're also gonna post some postcards. I have one more to post. Hopefully they'll give like a different stamp because I quite like, I quite like like seeing all the different stamps and like kind of collecting them in a way. So I'm just gonna post this postcard to someone. Yeah, but it's gonna be quite relaxed I think compared to our other days. <laughs> <laughs> we are here quite early, so I'm not actually sure if anything's really open, like it's just past 11. But it seems quite cool at first. Very artsy, like a definitely like a very artsy district. <laughs> building itself and it's actually kind of eerie as in like it seems oh jesus and then it just fell down a step it seems to be almost like a mixture of like office buildings and shops yeah and they just get like random pieces of art like this just on the wall and then a random chair next to a window um but yeah we're gonna head to floor one now there's a bridge right above me so i don't know if you can hear me we're at a coffee shop right now. I got this simple chain, and then I got this one with like a little flattened uh, pieces of metal on it as well. I really like them. It has just gone 2.30, and I think it's time to slowly make our way to the airport. I do not look forward to paying for nearly four pound coffees in the UK. I also bought some snacks for my sister and for my family when I see them next. I got some of these. They're these. Yeah, I don't know what they are, but they kind of look good. They also look crunchy and kind of like bread-like, so... And I also got these. I will end this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you have a good day or good evening or good morning, wherever you are. But yeah. Bye.